In the 1970s, the British Ministry of Defense, MOD, conceived a new vehicle based on the Scorpion, which evolved into a larger variant of the FV-103 Spartan. This upgraded model featured an additional road wheel on each side, along with a new engine, transmission, and suspension modifications. These enhancements effectively doubled the carrying capacity of the Spartan, creating a more adaptable platform for diverse applications. Originally designed as a general-purpose armored personnel carrier, APC, or combat vehicle, the prototypes underwent extensive testing, armed with a 7.62mm machine gun positioned above the commander's seat. Alvis Vehicles acquired the design and marketing rights for this vehicle from the mod in the 1970s, subsequently naming it the Stormer. In 1981, Alvis announced its plans for further development of the Stormer. Following this, Malaysia placed an order for 25 Stormer armored personnel carriers, configured as command vehicles, while Amman acquired them to support their chieftain tanks. The Stormer made its debut in 1987 as the FV-4333. The British Army adapted Stormers for the mobile platform of the Short Star Streak High Velocity Missiles, HVM. A total of 151 Stormer HVM air defense missile systems were ordered and entered service in 1997, constituting the primary version extensively used by the British Army. In 1995, the British MOD ordered 29 flatbed Stormers equipped with the USM-163 Volcano Mine Laying System, resulting in the creation of the Shielder Mine Laying Vehicle. The initial deliveries of these mine laying vehicles occurred in 1999. While the basic Stormer armored personnel carrier is amphibious with appropriate preparations, other members of the Stormer armored vehicle family also possess amphibious capabilities, except for the flatbed cargo carrier and the recovery vehicle. Numerous proposed roles for the basic Stormer were considered, resulting in prototypes built for various battlefield functions. However, most of these prototypes did not progress to production. Reports suggest that over 220 Stormer series armored vehicles were manufactured in different configurations. Several variants of the basic Stormer are outlined below. 1. Stormer HVM, this short-range air defense missile system, featuring a three-man crew, served as a mobile platform for the short Starstreak high-velocity missiles, HVM. It entered British Army service in 1997. 2. Stormer High Mobility Load Carrier, HMLC, developed as a flatbed version of the Stormer, the HMLC transported military supplies on the battlefield. In 1990-1991, it was fitted with the French Jot Minotaur mine dispensing system, but only six were built, and it was not operationally tested. The British Army later opted for the USM-163 Volcano Mine Laying System, ordering 29 flatbed stormers in 1995, resulting in the creation of the Shielder Mine Laying Vehicle. 3. Stormer 30, proposed as an infantry fighting vehicle, the Stormer 30 featured a modified 30mm turret from the Scimitar Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle. Various trial installations were attempted, including Sosi rubber band tracks and an add-on armor kit, but the model never entered production. 4. Forward Artillery Observation Vehicle. Equipped with suitable sensors and communication equipment, this variant never progressed to production. 5. Armored Recovery Vehicle. Despite a prototype being developed, this variant also did not advance to production.